No, but there was one time where this one girl, like somebody was sitting next to us and she farted so many times and it <laughs> reeked every single time. Rotten egg. It, it was worse than that. Oh. oh. My mom has SPDs, silent but deadly. Oh, what? And that's what they smell. That's oh, yeah. what they smell like. Oh. Understand the fundamentals to become a winner Center of the universe I got the gift and the curse It's free birth I was born with a sin Presence of my father's ashes Bring chills to my skin No father figure but Good evening Today's Sunday, January 8th It's really, really, really late at night right now And today started really, really, really early in the morning So before I get to all this Let me just walk you through my day real quick so everything started when I woke up at 5 in the morning. Hopped in my car and headed over to pick up Jenny. Then, Jenny and myself, we hit the road and we headed to Faith Church. Love that guitar, bro. We made it to church. It's early. It's cold. But we're here. First things first, we set up all our stuff and we have worship practice before we do anything. After that, we head downstairs and we have a room on the lower level where we gather and we pray before we actually go out and worship together. And all those, Father, who are serving in so many ways here, God, just give us your spirit today. Then we played service number one at nine o'clock. And then we played service number two at 1045. After that, we went to eat lunch at Moe's. Get out of here. Just kidding. And we didn't just eat lunch at Moe's. We brought a couple friends with us as well. First was Bryn. Second was Rachel. Get someone to drive you. <laughs> it's so cold. It's so cold! <laughs> These two girls are both Kate's sisters. Hopefully you remember Kate. You should get that. She's awesome. After lunch, Kate, Bryn, and Rachel brought us to their family restaurant and they got to show us around and show us some cool stuff in the restaurant. The original structure, so you think that. Dude. Like, why would they just randomly build a new base? Look at the stones right here. You think they Ghost would have. Hunters. I guess that's true. Ghost Hunters, gotta figure it out. I can't tell which cars I like better. Uh. We got to see Bryn dance a little bit. We got to see where they store all the syrups. They have a lot of syrups. It is cold. Yeah, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I had to show you the syrup. Oh yeah, true. Oh, true. Yeah, true. <laughs> then we had to hop back in the car and head back to Faith Church. They're all very, very different. Very different. different. And then we played service number three at 5 p.m. <laughs> Now, you might be wondering as to why I said my pastor called me a dirtbag. Let me explain. So starting today, January 8th, Faith Church is starting a series called Running on Empty. So Pastor Joe kicked off the series this morning by saying, we've all been there, right? And he gave examples like when you hop in the car and there's no gas, that's rough. Or when you're super thirsty and you get a glass out and you go to the refrigerator and there's no juice left. Or maybe you go to get a cup of coffee and, and you start to pour your creamer in there and there's only like a drop or two left. Or even more realistically, if you go to the bathroom and there's no toilet paper, or TP as he said. <laughs> it's a tough situation to be in. Or maybe on a more serious note, you go to the bank and you see that there's more bills than there is cash. And that's not an easy place to be in. That's, a, that's actually kind of a scary spot. But something Joe first asked and I thought was amazing, he said, what if Jesus is inviting you to run on empty? Now, when Jesus was on earth, he was fully man and fully God. He was almighty, all powerful, and rather than flaunt his power and his riches and his position, being the son of God, the Messiah, he made himself nothing, like absolutely nothing. Another way of saying it is he emptied himself. How crazy is that? The son of God emptied himself and he had the power to do anything that he wanted. My question was like, why'd he do that? Why would he do that? He chose to empty himself, come to earth, was born in a barn, to make us rich. How crazy is that? How mind blowing is that? Joe said that this is huge. It's beyond our human ability to fully grasp and understand, but it's amazing. What's even more amazing than that is the reason that he came, the reason that he did this. He became poor so that you, yes, you, 
the scumbag and the dirtbag that you are, I'm quoting my pastor here, full of selfishness, full of dirty thoughts and lust and horrible attitude. Everything that you have, all your addiction, everything you do and your sin-filled thoughts and life, he came for you. He came, made himself poor so that you can become rich. Now, this seems like a great time to celebrate and to enjoy these riches that we've been given. And yes, it's good to celebrate these things, but no. Your job on earth, our job on earth is to do exactly what Jesus did and is to make ourselves poor so that others can be rich. Jesus did it for you, do it for others. Now, one question you might be asking yourself is, did Jesus get like a return on his investment? Because he's the son of God, he's the Messiah, he's fully man and fully God, he came to earth, born as a baby in a manger, and he lived on earth and he emptied himself of his divinity just so that we can be rich. What is that about? The answer is, he received joy the joy that only god can give you so god's promise to us if we empty ourselves to make others rich you will receive the lord's joy the lord's blessing i'm not saying that this is easy i'm just saying jesus did this for you why couldn't we possibly do this for him and for others i know this message helped me hopefully this helps you listen i i did a very quick overview run through but if you want to see the full sermon it's online, so if you type in in Google Faith EFC and Allentown, just to make sure you find the right one, it's gonna be on there this week. Because trust me, Joe can relay this to you a lot better than I can. I'm just sharing it with you because it affected me so much. You got anything to say or just? Pablo's blog <laughs> rocks. I personally wouldn't watch it or listen to it, but it probably is great for you. Understand the fundamentals to become a winner Center of the universe I got the gift and the curse It's free birth I was born with a sin Presence of my father's ashes Bring chills to my skin No father figure but alive in him Show me who did